Hello and welcome to another episode of What of Crypto right here on Crypto Base Media. I'm Rock and in this episode I'm going to be giving you the latest news and recent happening in the cryptocurrency space. If you are yet to subscribe, make sure you click subscribe right now and turn on the bell icon for notification. Here are our top stories. CryptoPunk sells for $2.6 million despite bear markets. Vladimir Putin signs a bill prohibiting the use of digital assets as payments into law. OpenSea reduces its workforce by 20% and warns of a prolonged downturn. Inflation in the United States was higher than expected in June. Now the news in details. CryptoPunk sells for $2.6 million despite bear markets. A rare CryptoPunk has been auctioned off for a whooping $2.6 million or about 2,500 ETH. The transaction was completed on Tuesday and ranks fifth in terms of the most expensive sales since the collection's inception. CryptoPunk 4464 is extremely rare. In fact, it is the 32nd rarest available. It is one of only 24 apes among the 10,000 NFTs in this collection. It was purchased by a mystery buyer named Zoomk, who also owns 24 CryptoPunks. According to the CryptoSlam data, it is the largest NFT transaction in the last 30 days. Vladimir Putin signs a bill prohibiting the use of digital assets as payments into law. More than a month after it was introduced in the country's lower chamber of parliament, Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a bill into law prohibiting the use of digital financial assets as payments. The Russian state Duma reported on Thursday that Putin had signed a bill suspending certain parts of an existing federal law on banks and banking activities, effectively making it illegal for people to use cryptocurrencies to pay for goods and services. The initial draft of the bill, dated June 7, stated that other monetary units or monetary surrogates shall not be introduced on the territory of the Russian Federation. On June 8, the Duma chair approved the draft bill and after revisions and other consideration, the upper chamber of parliament, the Federation Council approved it. OpenSea reduces its workforce by 20% and warns of a prolonged downturn. The drastic move was made in response to an unprecedented combination of a crypto winter and a broader macroeconomic instability, according to the NFT marketplace. The CEO of OpenSea, Devin Finzer, stated that the company needs to prepare for a prolonged downturn. He said, The changes we are making today put us in a position to maintain multiple years of runway under various crypto winter scenarios, five years at the current volume, and give us high confidence that we will only have to go through this process once. Trading volumes on OpenSea have fallen in recent months. They peaked at $5 billion in January 2022, but have since dropped to $700 million. Furthermore, the platform is facing increased competition from new entrants into the space, including Coinbase and Instagram. The executive confirmed that those laid off will receive a general severance package as well as healthcare coverage until next year. Inflation in the United States was higher than expected in June. The latest inflation figures in the United States have been released and they were worse than the economics had predicted. The consumer price index increased by 9.1% year on year in June, setting a new 40 year high in the process. Analysts had expected a reading of 8.8% with the hope that a recent drop in gas price would help cushion the blow. According to CoinMarketCap data, Bitcoin fell to a low of $18,999 as market digested the news. However, the slump was brief, with prices surging back above $20,000 in the early hours of Thursday morning. The unexpected surge has reignited speculations that the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates by 1 percentage point, 100 basis points, later this month. That's it. You are now updated. Thank you for watching Crypto Biz Media. Make sure you like this video and subscribe.